Oda, please don't be doing this to me. Please do not be doing this to me. Like, I really hope my boy Law is not going to die because he he's one of my favorite characters of One Piece. He, he straight up is. Law is one of my favorite characters, especially in the New World. And to see the treatment he's been getting, especially in this chapter, like, he... he he got riddled with bullets. Once again, he got riddled with bullets. His arm is already gone. He got riddled with bullets. Once again. <sighs> I, I, I just... Oh my god. Like, seriously. At the end of the chapter, the final panel on Manga Stream, you have it to where Law says, Hey, Straw Hat, y'all. Yeah. And then the chapter ends. So... We don't know. I mean, is Law still alive? Is he about to monologue his final panels and then die? I mean, we have no idea because he, he's in a bad situation. He lost an arm. He was already shot beforehand, but he lost an arm. And then now he got shot even more. So, is my boy Law going to die? <laughs> I, I really hope that doesn't happen. So, let, let's talk about the chapter. He pretty much told... Doffy to fuck off. That That's exactly what Law said in this chapter. He pulled up the middle finger and flipped Doffy off. Like, fuck you. I'm not dealing with you. Bring back my senpai, Cortazon, and then we will talk. Then I will give you immortality, Doffy. Then I will help you out and I'll go along with your schemes if you bring back your brother. And he, he pretty much told fuck you to Doffy. Doffy snapped, started shooting Law. Law, you know, turned over and then Doffy looks at his back. He's like, you know what? What I find very interesting, what are you trying to imply, Law? Why do you have Cortazon, the heart symbol, on your back for your pirate crew? The heart pirates, why? Even though you'll never take the heart seat. And he continues to shoot Law in the back to remove that heart symbol off his back. That right there, oh my god. It just shows you how angry Doffy is. Like, he is so mad. He is just so freaking mad. And to see how Law was resisting to the bitter end in this chapter, it, it is... Oh my god, so much respect for Law right now. I have so much respect for Law. I really do. Just... Fighting tooth and nail against Doffy and just determined to not give up. That right there was amazing. Also, with Law's dialogue in this chapter, he foreshadows that the Straw Hats, or Luffy in general, will make a miracle happen in this country. For instance, that is foreshadowing that Doffy might lose. Because he states, right before he gets shot up, he states, Straw Hats have left a wake of miracles. And then, when you start thinking about it, they have. And so, he's pretty much implying that Doffy is going to meet his end in this upcoming fight, so... That, that's crazy, but still, the point of it is, though, Doffy, can he truly be beaten by Luffy? Because, in the chapter, Luffy went hockey mode and did Gatling Hawk, or Hawk Gatling gun. And when you saw him, you know, using his Hawk with his Gatling, and he didn't do nothing. Doffy didn't really get affected at all. He was just blocking it and all that, it, like, didn't affect him at all. So... Right at this moment, it's really hard to believe if Luffy can fight Doffy. Because Doffy, he's blocking even Hawk. Gatling gun Hawk. He, he's blocking it like it's nothing. The only way I can assume Luffy could fight Doffy from this point onward is if he combines his gear third and gear, uh, gear secondo. You know, he if he combines those two and then uses Hawk and Hockey and all that, he, he'll be fine. But I have no idea if he can do that. So the point of it is, with this chapter of One Piece, incredible setup, cliffhanger ending that really pisses me off. Because I, I just, I hope that that final dialogue bubble we saw on the bottom left of the final page of this chapter isn't implying that Law is about to narrate or monologue right before he dies. Because it, it seemed like that dialogue bubble at the end of the chapter... It wasn't directly implied towards Luffy, like, for instance, it's not like Luffy could hear what he was saying. It was like Law was thinking inside of his mind right before he died. That's what it looked like to me, that final bubble. So, we'll have to see. What we'll, we'll have to see. How do you all feel about, you know, just Treble, too, being there? I mean, Luffy's having to fight Treble and Doffy, and Treble, so far, he's just been a little bit of a lackey when it comes to Doffy. Or, you know, and I wonder what role is he really going to have to play when it comes to this upcoming fight. Because Luffy's going to need some help. Hopefully Sabo gets his ass over there very soon and helps out Luffy. Because Luffy's going to have some major issues. 
Oh yeah, and also the birdcage is shrinking. The birdcage is shrinking down. So we have a time limit on this arc. The time limit is set, and the arc will in be ending very soon. So yeah, that that's kind of good news. I mean, if you think this arc is too long, I guess it's good news. The time limit has been set. But let's just consider this. Freeze is set five minutes, and we know how long that went. So... Well, when we have a time limit in the manga or, or anime, it just really depends on the writers, how long they want to drag it out, so still, it doesn't matter. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or not, wherever you live. Please be safe. Shibi out.